I'm dropping everything already. <laughs> oh no! How are you doing? Welcome back to the renovation of the art studio part two. If you haven't watched the first one, go back. Stop this right now if you haven't seen it. It will be one of the last videos that I put up. It's called Art Studio, and I'm like this in front of it with loads of colours everywhere. Go click on that, watch that, and come back and watch this one. Let's have a little look inside and see how we're getting on. There is definitely progress to be seen. I have an empty corner. Let's stand in the empty corner. This is what's left. And I did so much cleaning out last time. Finished off putting the documents in the boxes so they can go to my dad's garage. This is being taken down because it's broken. All these TVs and electrical equipment I put in this corner, um, which I'm gonna take to the recycling. It is horrible, horrible, horrible weather. I can't emphasize that enough. That's why I said it like three times. It's chucking it down with rain. By the end of today, I want to have this clear. That's manageable. It just means that I'm gonna have to go back and forth from the tip a few times, taking things to the recycling. But by the end of today, what I want is all of it cleared, floor swept, cobwebs swept out of all the different corners, hoovered, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to try and take some of the roof panels down. See this, look, it's literally just falling off. I've got a dehumidifier, which is basically like this big machine which sits in the middle of the room and sucks all the moisture out of the room because it is damp in here. So that's a good thing, so I'm gonna get that set up I can get that set up now, actually. Sorry, I'm talking through the process to you guys. But uh, that, that's it, we're here, phase two. Let's just get it. I need to get this dehumidifier and just get cracking. I'm so freaking excited for this. And whilst I'm on the topic of being excited, it means so much to me that you guys stop by and watch these little vlogs, these little videos that I push out on my channel. Let's be honest, I've been doing it for over three years now, and some of you have been with me from the start. But going back through the comments of the previous video of this project, you're amazing people, you're so lovely, you're so positive, and you really do, without understanding, like some of you say, Sean, you're so motivational, you're like up and at them and you're starting these projects and stuff. You give me so much motivation. And I'm like, guys, you do not get it. Like, I'm just doing this, I'm finding it fun, I can't wait to have this like space where I can come and produce and be creative. But when you reply stuff like that, it gets me, it catches me in the feels, and it gives me the motivation to obviously carry on and just do stuff like this. So I just wanted to give you a little shout out and just say thank you so much for just being you. Like, you're all amazing people and I love you. Stopping by my channel and watching me being stupid and doing silly things. So uh, yeah, big love. Thank you so much for watching. The video's not over yet. That's what I used to sign out. Right, stop babbling. Let's crack on. Got the dehumidifier, I think that's what it's called. And it's sucking all of the moisture out of the air. Um, it stopped raining, but see what I mean about me having lots of bits to do and things to repair. See that dark patch of wood? That's wet. So the water, when it rains, is coming in from the roof somewhere. It's literally soaked through. Not good. The bottom of that is actually mouldy, probably as a result of that. Behind you guys, there's also another patch, pretty similar to that, so looks like we will be doing some roof repairs at some point. Not sure where I have adopted a Yorkshire accent, but let's hit time lapse. Stop, 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 stop the time lapse for a second. There is something that's been on my mind since yesterday, and I don't know if you guys know this, but there is a big company called StockX. They deal in trainers, luxury items like bags, watches, and items of clothing and stuff. The reason why I'm telling you this is because I follow them and they've started this thing called trading cards, so StockX trading cards. It's an American company, so there's all kinds of like rare cards, or baseball cards, NBA cards, different sports cards, but primarily, and the reason why I'm telling you this is because they had a picture of, a, I think it's called, what the hell is it called? Anyway, Pokemon cards. A first edition Polyrath, a shiny, is worth over a thousand dollars. And ever since I saw this yesterday, I was like, oh my God, 
me and my brother had so many Pokemon cards, I've got a feeling we got rid of them when we were younger. I've got a feeling we probably donated them. But I'm going through all like these loose ends of things that no one's gone through for about a decade, trying to see if I could find a Pokemon card. They're worth money now. Like actual money that you can sell. So for anyone at home who's watching this video right now, if you have Pokemon cards in your house or you think that your mum or dad or your aunt or your uncle or whoever has got your old Pokemon cards or they have Pokemon cards, try find them because you can sell them for quite a lot of money now. So have a little look. Commence the time lapse. It's so cool to be able to just move about. Look, now you kind of get a perspective of how big the floor space is. Now that that's gone out of the way, I'm going to stand over here. Look, that's enough space to get some nice like uh, blank canvases up on the wall. When it's all like ready, I'm going to get a wheelie chair. So I can sit in my chair like an office chair and just wheel myself to this painting. Wheel myself over here to this painting. This thing has started to drip. Can you hear it? So, I'm gonna check to see if we've got water. Oh, wow. Like, how long have I had it on for? Not that long, I can tell you that. Because it's bloody damp in here! Just made myself a matcha green tea. Woohoo! I have to be careful because I haven't gone around the corners yet to get rid of those spiders' webs, but. Look, I'm over here now! Look how it's a decent size, isn't it? Ah, uh, that's a grand cup of tea! I'm shouting, I'm literally shouting by myself in a little shed because I'm super excited. Now that there's like, now I can have floor space, it's got me so excited. <sighs> right? Let's carry on with floor, shall we? Now that I've got, I'm talking in an Irish accent because my brother's been in and out helping me shift some stuff, you might have seen in the time lapse. But when we meet up with each other, because we're Irish, Irish, we just adopt this Irish accent when we talk to each other. And now I'm in the mo kind of mood where I'm being silly, just shouting in an Irish accent. Now that everything's clear and I can see the walls, there's some serious damage here, boys. Some mouldy corners. I think the skirting board's mouldy as well. It's got like this weird white stuff on it. You can you see that kind of like white mistiness on that skirting board? I think that is mould. Fully aware that there's a lot of time lapses of me just moving stuff still. It's because we're still in the early stages of the project. It will get more exciting than just watching me carry stuff. But saying that, I know a lot of you guys really like the time lapses and watching people like clean stuff up or move stuff around. You say it's very satisfying, sorry. So um, hopefully you're finding this vlog satisfying. <laughs> I found a box that used to belong to my granddad. I think that's where I get my arty creativeness from. My art, my mum's very arty and creative, but I think originally it came from my granddad. He used to paint, he used to take photos, he used to do a lot of drawing. Some of these are really cool. So that's my mum, I think. I wonder if he dated them. No, I didn't date them. That's 
some say my mum. A lot of people say she looks like me. That's quite cool. There she is. What a stylish lady. Oh, wow. Oh. These are my granddad's old drawings. Ink drawing he did. His ink drawings are just insane. Look at this. It's like shadows from a window. Look at that. My granddad did that. There's one of the bigger ones. All by just a pen. I don't know if you can see it properly. I'm so happy I found these. I'll show my mum. She'll, she'll love the fact that I found these. Once I have, have everything sorted, I know I keep saying that, but I'm excited to show you some of my um, artwork because I may have spoken about it over the years that I've been creating these videos, but one thing I haven't done is showing you properly what I used to get up to and what I used to do. So look forward to that video when it comes out. I might do a separate one to the like renovation makeover. I might just put everything out when the floor is completely clear and then take you through all the little bits which I made. Let me know if you're interested in seeing that. I'm just going to show the vlog. I've just found my granddad's old autograph book. I'm not sure when this is dated, but he used to collect people's signatures. I'm not sure who George Turvey is. Do you know who George Turvey is? he was a sports person. Maybe. But he put a little photo of each person he got their autograph from and put their autograph on the other page. Bye! See you later! Rennie Ray? Maybe some of you guys who watch the watch these vlogs might know who Rennie Ray is, but there's Rennie Ray's signature. We'll have to look them up. Yeah, we have to actually, that's a good idea. In 1937, he's, he's got, he collected quite a few. Oh look, there's a little drawing Grandad must have done. Yeah. You have to keep hold of that. Yeah. That's very cool. There you go. Thank you. Everything is out. I wonder why that one fell. I think it's from just being old and be careful because it might fall on you. Um, Alright, have a go then. Let's get it on camera if it does. It's not going to fall. <laughs> Everything's out. We have floor space. So I'm currently at the stage where I am going around with a broom. My mum's helping me. And we're getting rid of all of the cobwebs and stuff and getting yeah rid of all the nasty bits and then I'm going to go back around, hoover it up and figure out what to do with the roof. Because I'm messing around with the panels of the roof, I've decided to unplug all the lights in the ceiling because these are the ones, this side are the ones that I think are most affected by the water coming in. But what I'm doing is like pulling them all down. Don't worry, I've turned all the fuses off. I know what I'm doing. There's these little junction boxes which I've disconnected. So all of the electronic current is stopped so I can still use the ceiling light um, and I can still use the sockets because they're on a different fuse but now it's safe enough to kind of like pull the panels down. This is going to be quite hard because I know when my dad and his friend Brian did it he used a nail gun so there's these tiny little nails which are pro I can't even like get my hammerhead around it to like pull it out and um, so it's going to be a lot of pulling and shoving but I think it's necessary because then we can see where the leak's coming in, but also it just needs to be put up. We might even need to get fresh panels because these are all like warped because of how much water has got into them over the years. I want to invest in this space, that's why I'm doing it. So if it means that I have to replace them, that's absolutely fine. It just means that the shed or the studio, the art studio is going to have more longevity and be able to be used for a longer amount of time. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start trying to pull some of them down, I think. shed's been here for over like 15 years um, so there's no wonder why it's like this but it just needs some love and that's exactly what I'm giving it. The weather has just destroyed the actual roof like all of this moisture has warped the wood so much that I think I'm gonna have to replace it. I wanted to move around the electrics anyway so that's not a big deal that can come out but big 
freaking job. Like, I said that this was gonna be a project. I didn't think really how, like, much actual, like, structural change we'd have to do to it. But having stripped off the roof and staring at stuff like that, it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna take a little while, and it it just means that there's gonna be more renovation videos. So that's a good thing. This kind of stuff just excites me, and I'm enjoying the process, as you can tell. I'm excited for the end product. I'm excited for a functional studio, but I'm really enjoying the process. I think I have got enough for today. I am gonna sign the vlog out here. I'm taking off the other side of the ceiling. Hence why I'm gonna sign now, now because I don't wanna give you so much of the same stuff today. We'll probably see you back on the channel with another video. I don't wanna bombard you with these renovation type videos. So on that note, do all the nice things. Thank you so much for watching. Um, leave a comment, let's have a chat. Lots of you said that I'm inspired you to kind of like do some bits around your own home or start different kind of like projects and stuff. So let's have a chat about them. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your evening or whatever you're up to today. I'll be seeing you real soon in another video. Peace. I just signed out the bonus clip. That's why I need to take the roof down. That is so bad. And that was underneath this inner panel. Like that is the roof. Hence why it's all dribbling down the wall, look. I think seeing that made the final decision. The roof needs to be replaced.